Well, the future of the hemp industry uh, is going to depend, depending on whether you ask uh, somebody like good old Jeff Sessions or whether you ask somebody who actually believes in the true healing power of that particular plant. We are scratching the surface of understanding the involvement of the hemp plant in human biology. I think the future of the hemp industry is huge. I think the future of the hemp industry is, is it's looking positive. There's a lot of backlash against hemp right now or cannabis, but I think the future, of, I think within the next decade, we're going to see dozens more states making it legal for not only medicinal, but also for recreational use, which it should be. It should be because it's a plant, and it's a plant that has dozens, if not hundreds, of medicinal uses and even more industrial uses, so it, it should be legal. Yeah, the hemp industry is gonna be big and booming. I can tell you right now, it's only a matter of time before it's legalized everywhere. You know, the Declaration of Independence was written on hemp. I mean, it is valuable in so many ways. It's, we gotta get back to our roots because um, whether it be a hemp oil, CBD, um, it, you know, what it was a hundred something years ago, everybody was there making clothes with hemp and then the, the cotton industry took over and we've got our, our polyester and all the, the uh, synthetic fabrics and that are so bad for us when hemp is cheap. Uh, it's a healthy, it's, it's easy to grow, quick to grow. I really think that it's gonna make a comeback even though the government is gonna fight it every step of the way. We as humans have this endocannabinoid system that is relatively untapped and unstimulated and the use of hemp is something that can help us, uh, help us to, to restore our relationship with a lot of those endocannabinoid receptors that can assist with uh, inflammation, that can assist with sleep, that can assist with, uh, with anxiety and, uh, you know, and, and people who have like a, you know, seizure and epilepsy, there's a profound effect. So the medicinal properties of it and also the, the psychological properties of it, I think are, are profound. And um, I, I would honestly, I would hate to see the federal government make something like that illegal, uh, something that has so many properties uh, that blow like alcohol and tobacco out of the water uh, at a far, far safer level than alcohol or tobacco. But also it's valuable as medicine. When you look at the cannabis plant, those compounds, THC and CBD, CBD specifically has great medical value. It's been proven in medical studies to support and help heal the brain and nervous system. It's been shown to improve leaky gut and digestive issues. It's been shown to reduce anxiety and depression to help people get off opiate drugs and painkillers. I really believe it's one of the ultimate forms of medicine. And I think it's a shame that people don't have access to it all across the world in the United States. Hemp is still a little bit misunderstood. People are still a little bit hesitant um, because it's obviously a, a, you know, a cannabis plant, but the, the hemp plant doesn't produce any psychoactive substances. So the, the CBD interacts with the endocannabinoid system and that has a calming influence on the nervous system. It has a calming influence on the immune system. And in the modern world, the modern patient, they're inflamed, they've got a poor diet, you know, they're stressed to the eyeballs, they're surrounded by toxic chemicals and that puts incredible pressure and stress on all of the systems in our body. And CBD has the capacity in patients that have got pain, patients that are having difficulty sleeping, patients that have got inflammation, of calming that down in a, in a really significant and very natural way. Not just the plants and this incredible microbiome that is around it. What are the bacteria and fungi that live in the root systems of these plants that have again and again shown extraordinary medicinal capacity? We're right now zeroing in on the power of the plant itself, but I am guaranteeing you that in the decades to come, we're gonna discover that it's the bacteria and the fungi that support that plant that create the magic. And when we come into that whole hierarchy of truth and foundation of human health, we're gonna find out it starts in the soil, moves to the bacteria and fungi, then to the roots of our plants, which become our medicinals. Because even hemp, if you're taking uh, you know, it's, if you're taking it orally, taking a supplement uh, could still con contain 0.3% of THC. Although now, uh, Billy DeMoss taught me that they do have a, uh, a THC, complete TH-free version of CBD or hemp oil. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna revolutionize everything, um, whether it be CBD um, or cannabis, the plant. I, I mean, I think hemp, cannabis, I, I think there's no stopping it now. It's, it's, it's just like the, the snowball's going, it's getting bigger and bigger and they can't slow it down. They've been our medicines for all time until this last two decades when we have stripped the medicinal nature out of our food by the chemicals we use to produce that very food that you're putting in your children. We've lost the medicinal quality of our food. We have become a, a burden of chronic disease. 
and we are seeking solutions back into plants and soils again. That's the journey that we've been on, and we're excited for you to be part of it. For more information about CBD, please visit us at innatehemp.com forward slash education.